see that done, we can do the uh, four quadrants, and then after that, uh, work our way in our arms, change. Trey, are you holding the ceasefire? Yeah. You got to come around and put the ceasefire on. We started about a year and a half ago with Fire Chief Don Petito from Flagler County Fire Department. He approached us about an opportunity that he saw in South Florida at a school that had a had a, a what they called a fire academy. We went down and visited that academy, saw what they offered. They offered kids general coursework and med medical field and firefighting and this and that. We came back and decided we wanted to make that a program where our kids could walk out the door with a, a, with a job. So we were able to meet with the state fire marshals, uh, the local uh, city and counties, uh, municip municipalities, uh, what we need to do to prepare kids to walk out the door at 18 years old ready to go into a firehouse and be a firefighter. They, they got together with us, they told us what the firefighting codes and the laws were in the state. We matched those up with the state department of education codes and our students now are in classwork where they're taking, starting with emergency medical responder, we'll finish with firefighter three here at Flag of Palm Coast High School. When they graduate, turn 18, they'll be ready to sit for the state firefighting exam. How has it been received among the students? Well, when our, we had our initial call out last year to find out what our interest would be, and we had the call out just here at FBC. As our, you know, our flagship programs can draw students from any school in our community, but we just did the call out here at FPC, and we had over 100 students attend that call out. We were able to open 50 slots this year, and we're 50 for 50. We have 50 kids in the program to start it on our year one. It will expand to 100 the following year. You're a little emotional today. Why, why the emotions? I mean, you see the kids over here taking advantage of all this. That's what it is. Um, providing opportunities for kids is why I do this business. And uh, you're going to get me emotional again now, but providing opportunities for kids is why I do what I do. Um, and to see kids that might have floundered in school because they didn't have a reason to come to school every day. The stories that they tell me about, Mr. Sims, I come I'm doing, to school, I'm doing my homework every day now because I want to stay in the Fire Leadership Academy. That is why we do what we do. When I looked over at those kids when I was speaking today, they got me. And um, but that's but I'm, that's I know I'm where I need to be because of it. Oh, I think it's a great thing because we're getting those homegrown kids uh, trained. We get to see them for four years. Get to know their temperaments, their abilities, and, and their and their ability to fit in with the other guys. And uh, we take them, and they, they're going to stay here. Their families are here. Instead of hiring somebody from Miami or Jacksonville, that's going to go back there. The challenge of getting something that you guys deal with every day and putting into a classroom setting. Oh. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, the challenge was tremendous. As, uh, I spoke about it earlier. Uh, working through the state fire college that has their rules, the Department of Education which has their rules, uh, FBC which has their rules, and Flagler County that has their rules, and we had to meld all that together to be able to make this come through. Uh, everything from class codes to following state guidelines to following Department of Education guidelines. So yeah, it was a, it was a challenge. It, it took us longer to do that than anything else. It means the, the future of the fire service is not going to be centered outside our jurisdictions. That means the firefighters that we're going to put on in the next five to ten years are going to be grown in Palm Coast and, and Flagler County. They're going to be raised here. They're going to be part of the infrastructure of our organizations. And we are big enough now that we can start to bring 
these students into the career service and start supporting our staff instead of having folks from coming from outside the area um, taking our jobs and, and having it outside the departments. As a career firefighter in this service, to see kids doing this and the success, although it's relatively young in the program, but to have it full class, what does that, what does that say to you? For me, it's very emotional. I can go back in time, and my, my son and daughter started as fire explorers 15 years ago. Today, both of them work for Daytona Beach Fire Department and Flagla Beach Fire Department. They have homes in Palm Coast. They live here. They're supporting us with taxes. My nephew is a lieutenant with Flagler County Fire Rescue. So by getting these students in the program young, like we did with our family, they got the experience of being part of the department and what it was like to, to have the, the, the fire department experience. And now they're actually putting it to work. They're, they're, they're making careers out of it. They're raising their families because of it. Final question, the importance of having all four major departments here in the county together in this one endeavor. That's got to be huge, too. It's huge. And, and it's got to show a sign to the students that when they get done with this, there's a lot of opportunity within 10 miles of this school that they'll be able to be doing good work for everybody. I had, I'm blessed to have this opportunity uh, to be in the Fire Leadership Academy. It has been a blessing for me to come and learn part of the medical field. And honestly, it is a, a job, a one in a lifetime. And um, I'm just blessed to have, like I said, this opportunity. And I thank uh, Instructor Kepler for being for putting in him his hard work and effort for us to succeed in the future. And right after high school, have already a job of ourselves and make ourselves one, one of ourselves. This is something you want to do? Yes, sir. I want to be a paramedic, certified paramedic. And um, I pray that everything will go out well. And I have faith that by the time that I graduate, I'll have everything in, the, in my hands. How intense is this class? How realistic is it? I mean, how, how tough? It's a tough class. Uh, well, at first, um, you'll hear a lot of lecturing. Lecturing is um, a lot of teaching, uh, reading, going over notes. And then after that part is finished, then we'll proceed into the fun stuff. But honestly, it's, it's a great job, great uh, class, and I love it.